happens next. And the, the thing that happens next is that they open the mummy's tomb, and that's from Poirot, which is on ITV on Sunday at 9 o'clock. And I'm actually excited about that being on, because I like it so much. Ooh. And he's so cute. Ooh. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm on the sofa with Craig and Jane, who are going to be telling us tomorrow's news today. And you did rather well last week, didn't you? Yeah. Not too bad. Even um, though there's that. Which yeah, well, they might even pend yet, because some of those things are beginning to happen. But... Um, Fish sales fall due to oil pollution. Indeed, they did. Two of the stores, major stores, stopped selling fish. Mm -hmm. um, cargo plane crashes near Manchester. I mean, that's not exactly as we said it. We said plane crash, but there was a, a plane crash. Mm -hmm. And I think the good one, which we had on pending last week, was Diana unpopular. And I mean, this week's news certainly has brought that to the fore, hasn't it, really? Well, she's she sort very of wobbles from day to day. She's on her way down, I think. Mm -hmm. On her way out. Well, <laughs> on her way out. Um, on the next plane. <laughs> is that a prediction? <laughs> well, I think so. Well, actually, future. I think she might well leave the country in time. Yes. That is true. Yes. Right, That's what's right. going to happen this week? Right, we'll do these very quickly. Um, a frogman finds body of a child. Some disputes over electric cables. Drugs in prison are exposed. More help for wildlife funds due to the oil in Shetland. And a bravery award for a remarkable soldier. There we go. And what have we got here? Now, this is, you'll like this one. The BBC are going to act some programmes, including Breakfast TV. Whoa. So more viewers for us. And oil found in Sudan, right? They're going to announce the uh, Breakfast TV ending anyway, <laughs> and not Sudan. And um, Iran and Libya are going to threaten America, make a few threats. Um, scientists warn of changes to the Gulf Stream. And Princess Charles calls for funds to help the birds. Princess Charles? Yes, Princess Charles, yes. <laughs> and not, birds not what, being Camilla. Else, something else you know about. Uh, thank you very much. We'll see how you did next week. Let's go over to Chris and Gabby.